Mm. All right, let's just lunge right back into it. Things got fucked up, yo, as we placed together the weirdness of this, uh... Whatever happened here... I had a knife... And a mug. And I can't read what's on the mug, which is a pity. Do I want to go after birds? Yeah, I kind of do. Alright, let's walk around a little bit. Maybe we can find some birds. We need four birds, apparently. What is that? Oh, it's a piece of ammo. It's like a sharp piece of glass or something. Did you notice how the mirrors of the pictures you keep breaking all have the same face? Yeah, I did. The only thing I can think of is that there's some kind of religious significance to it. Is that a mountain? Yeah, that's a mountain. So somehow we're in this weird valley. So let's assume it's a religious significance. It's a cult. That's your favorite, Untrusted. But, um... They were passing by information. Making pesticides. Family business, maybe? If I can kill the guide's birds, then murdered him because he saw too much and they kept calling each other the siblings. Well, they are a family, right? This is supposed to be a family park. Can't get that one, but I might be able to get this one. How do I get down there? You know what it reminds me of? Have you ever played Undying? I know it by reputation because Clive Barker did a lot with its design and uh, mostly the writing. And it's about a haunted family, right? I guess, I guess I'm not going down there. And I never saw the cages. Hmm. Anyway, that's kind of what it reminds me of. So how do I get in there? It went right through it. Cool. I 
I'm not real sure I like the fact that I can't pick up rocks once I shoot them. Like, they tormented the, the guy by killing his birds, which he cared deeply before. And he suffocated him to death. That's why I'm so... Why are you so angry? I don't know, man. Maybe you have a strong sense of justice. Which is like, I mean, good. You should be angry about that. I'm not gonna lie, man. That said, let's go kill some of his birds. <laughs> we gotta put him in cages, apparently. And then burn him. Why, why are we doing this? I honestly don't want to hurt the birds. The birds have been leading us to the correct place all this time. Hmm. Yeah, let's try something. Just checking. I'm wondering if I missed something while I was up here. Hello? That's getting closer to finish, I guess. find a way down. I don't know if I like that sound. The mirror's already broken here. Also, look at the bones. Yeah. The bird bones. Oh, I have more of these. Oh. Oh, it's portable. It's a box of nuts. Portable nuts. Good. What the fuck is that noise? Is that the cages? Is that what I'm hearing? What the fuck is happening? I didn't turn this on. Those don't look like bird bones. I'm gonna just take their word for it and say they're bird bones. So, we're at one of these points where I'm kind of a little bit stuck. Stun four birds with rocks. One bird in every cage. Turn on switch and cellar. Fill up the containers. Did did I? I don't remember. I don't remember doing that. Alright, let's take it slow. Crutches. There are crutches here. Oh, hi. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, sure, let's clip through this thing. 
four cages connected to a big machine, which is connected to some kind of container. There's a Dwarf Fortress three-toed story where a guy gets 20 children and murders them to turn the forest evil. How do you get so many children? Also, is that a still? Are they distilling bird essence? I think he kidnapped him. There's an old paper clipping. Flooding and landslides brought on by storms based over in Signaw family. Family Park have killed at least 31 people and left 20 others missing, according to local reports. Hundreds were evacuated from the hotels and buildings situated on the outskirts of the park, while the park entered while the park center suffered the most extensive damage. Fifteen bodies were recovered from the houses buried in a small village in the center of the park, including the wife of the local politician, James Henson. Ah, the Henson family. Okay, I did not turn this on. I was standing right here, you saw me. All work and no play. Oh no, calm down. So, birds. I get what you're saying. They did a lot of evil, and it turned the place evil. <sighs> okay, we're gonna go bird hunting. And frankly, I don't want to. But I think the next step is to take out four birds and throw them into cages. There's the reference to Stephen King. All work and no play. I, I saw Doctor Sleep on Wednesday, the sequel to The Shining. It's not a horror movie. It's like an adventure movie. I would call it closer to an adventure mu movie. And it has horrific elements, but I wouldn't call it a horror movie. Not, not really. Bird! Bird, cup. Fuck. I see bird hunting's not gonna be easy. You know, I just realized, this guy here, Kristoff, He's been attaching Bobby's tapes to the crows, to their feet, and sending them off into the wild. Like messages in a bottle. Just saying. The reason we've been getting these messages, these tape reels from Bobby, is because of this guy. That doesn't help. Is 
This feels like a wild bird chase. Is this really what I have to do? I... Hmm... It's the only thing I have left, right? It's the only thing, really, the only clue I have left to... to go for. But... This... This is really dumb. And if it turns out I can't actually shoot these birds, I'm gonna be pissed off. First, I gotta find one. And go bird hunting. Anyway, I'm pretty sure they're gonna hang around here. Like, the big clue was that he was the guy who sort of raised the birds like his babies. Use the car? Can't get into it. That's that's not me being obtuse. I mean, I, I tried. Did I try? I thought I tried. We can backtrack. We may have to anyway, just to find more birds. So there's this thing in The Shining, well, specifically in Doctor Sleep, and it, it does make me want to read the book more than anything else to get some more details. So Dan Torrance is sort of the main character of Doctor Sleep, and he seems to be really, really hung up on his dad, which, I mean, okay, I can get the trauma or whatever, because he's like a five-year-old kid running away from his dad with an axe. Alright, let's see if we can get into this car. Nope, it's not giving me an option. <sighs> okay, okay. Hang on a second. I need to check. Okay. Okay, I found a map that kind of gives everything away. So... Huh. But what I'm looking for is... That's right, I'm cheating. I'm actually cheating to see if this is the correct thing to do. There are no guides! Are you kidding me? There's no guide to this? Bullshit. <laughs> yeah, there's no guide. There's... That's... That's impossible. There's gotta be a walkthrough. Goes. Okay. Joy parade.
What? What? What the fuck am I? Okay. We have to go back to the flutes. So, prepare for high octane adventure. Fuck yeah. Oh, while, while I'm at it. Don't mind me. Just completely dumbfounded. That's that's all. So I missed something back at the flutes. I thought the flutes was kind of a waypoint just to sort of yeah. Yeah, see these things? I'm supposed to pick them up. We're not done yet. While we're here, let's get fill up some rocks. Uh-huh. If you, don't, if you don't mind me saying, this is super annoying. Oh, I get it. That's Morse code too. Dash, 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 dot, dash. We're, we're basically playing Easter Egg Hunt. I, I hope you like it, because I'm doing it as loud as I can. Uh, hang on a sec. Okay, back at it. So... Ah, there it is. That's Siegfried. Um, we're just missing one more. Dumb flutes. So, not only are we about to kill his birds, we're not killing his unnamed birds. These all these all these birds have names. All these birds have names. Cool, huh? Ok. 
Okay, I'm going the wrong way. See, I don't want to spook the bird. I want to get a good shot of them. Do you see a bird? Oh, there's the bird. There we go. Dead bird. Yep. On to the next one. We're doing God's work. <laughs> Let's head up Siegfried. This is what I thought I'd be doing uh, when I was at work today. I was thinking, you know, I really want to play that game. And what I really want to do is shoot birds. Just shoot the ever-loving fuck out of them. You say, birds? I say, good eating. Where is bird? Got him. <laughs> Found the story, linked me to it. Oh, I didn't realize I could do that. Guess we're going to uh, Falio now. Oh, look, cliffs. It's a pretty clever idea. I want to make an evil biome. Let's collect children. How did he collect children? Can you kidnap children? Is that a thing you can do in Dwarf Fortress? Like, I know they exist, and I know, like, children can totally be wiped out by goblin forces, but can you in adventure mode collect children? Ah, there you are. Got him. No, you can't yet. How did he get so many children then to create an evil biome? One left. I must be confused as to what a three-toe story is. It's like, I thought it was like a fortress tale. Like a tale of what's going on. Oh, this is Crystal the bird. Or an adventure tale. Where are you? Oh, there you are. You're really hard to see. Can I even hit you from here? I might have to get closer. 
There we go. Maybe a little bit higher. Got him. All right, we now have a purse full of birds. Cool. It's not actually a story from somebody playing. You know, I know Zach is uh, the toady one. In order to help him design the game, they make stories to try to get as much story doable in the game as possible. Oh, I didn't know that. I actually didn't. That doesn't work. Toady one is Tarn, so three to That's confusing. Are they doing that on purpose? Because I'd believe it if you said yes. Go. Yep. Not sure how that's confusing. The toady one and three. Toad. Murderers. Yes, we are. No, it's three toe, not three toed. I mean, are you are you messing with me? Switch in the cellar. Fill up the containers. Burn them in the attic. Why did I do that? Did that give me power? No, I'm not messing with you. Okay, three toe and the toady one. Still doesn't have... I guess you haven't listened to the DF talks, have you? Nope. I have not. Although I do know they exist, I just haven't done it. Okay, so apparently I did something wrong. Hey, thank you very much, Game Cup Publix. Welcome to the very, very, very strange game. Okay, so that's on, that's on. All of these are on. So everything should be all right. Looks spooky. It's a pretty strange game. It's more strange than uh, creepy. Oh, is he? Yeah, I hated to disappoint him. I had to run somebody. 
Maybe I'll grab him tomorrow for coffee. Wait, what? Why is this here? What? Why? What do? What is this do? Nah, I don't, may maybe not. I still have to wake up tomorrow and do stuff. Just because it's the weekend doesn't mean I don't work. But uh, maybe it's tomorrow night. We can all get some coffee. I hope coffee is acceptable. Yeah, I, I still got like I, I get to wake up a little later, but I still gotta wake up. Okay, that'll work at night, I guess. What? Weird, but all right. Let's do the secret one. Did that open this? No, it didn't. See, there's this one, but then there's like this one. Okay, that opens this up. Get down here, finally, finally. We can get some rocks. Ah, here's what I'm looking for. This thing. What? I think I've got air down to wherever this is going to. Good lord, that- What? 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 Don't, don't move. I got you covered. Um, it's got something over here. I believe that's a dead body. Um, hey, hey, meats. This game got strange. Oh, we got a new reel, but let's let's not listen to reel number six so close to the giant loud turny thing. Let's move a little bit further away. I I don't even know. All right. Ever since the storm. The park has been covered in a red mist at night. Father had a lot of people laying down pipes all over the park. The pipes would capture the mist, and then Father would put it into spray cans and sell the cans as bug pesticides. Oh, that's a bad idea. One day we didn't sell the cans anymore. And the people who worked in the factory all went away. So, so let me get this straight. You have a giant storm that kills a whole bunch of people and causes a red mist to appear in the sky as, lo as well as a giant balloon gummy bear. And you decide to pump the mist into spray cans. And I've been using this to shoot people. And selling it as pesticides, that's, that's good, that's wise. That's a wise thing right there. What? No wonder everything's weird. To answer your question, no, I can't. But I might be able to shoot this guy. Bonk. 
Yeah, that's not doing anything. So, cool. Cool. Yeah, the potato gun has been fun, actually. Although, I'm not sure it's wise to have around. Alright, let's do this final one, which is dot 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 dash dash. I heard you, but I didn't see you. Next level. Okay. We're done here. So, slowly but surely, we are getting, like, a thing out live, right? We are getting a, a, a story. We know where the birds are coming from now. They're coming from Kristoff, right? Okay. And, oh... What's up there, buddy? I promise not to shoot you. I've killed enough birds today. Tonight? What time is it? Okay. okay. Enough of the potato gun. Let's switch to something more deadly, just in case. Okay. We're good. Let's see what happens next. We know that people are stuck in a tunnel underneath, uh, underneath the earth. One, Chris Mark. It's one o'clock. It's red mist time. Hey, 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 hey! Don't, 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 don't do that! Don't do that! Okay. Woof. Let's go off the beaten path. Get some driving done today. right about the red mist being pesticide though yeah you were right about that whoa we've got a couple of things here got anything to say there bookcase no Fountain of Blood. Oh, that's pleasant. Okay. Oh. All right, bird. We're following. If you have a Fountain of Blood in uh, Rogue Legends, all right, man. It's about time we've gotten more blood in your game. I think everybody can get behind a fountain of blood. You know, for the photo shoot. A lot of trees. A lot of red mist. Yeah, plenty of red mist on that lot. Oh, it's been there for ages. Oh, we're finally going to the circus tent. Maybe we'll find out more about, I think her name was Rowan? You better be right about this bird. Are we doing a seance? Yes, we are. Where are you? Okay, where are you? Black trees. I didn't see any black trees out there while we were looking around. Black trees. Not 
Burn down. Fire. Cross. So there was a fire. That's how she died, probably. Did she die in the woods? See, they mentioned this. They burned her. Kristoff was part of this. He was talking about it. Well, as talk as dead can be. There's a there's a thingy over there. Okay, another part of the mu music sheet. Whatever that's for. Okay, that, that was next. See anything else, so... Alright, let's roll. I've tried to run over that bird. Doesn't work. Whoa, 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 what? Is it raining? Why is... Why are my headlights suddenly all shiny and shit? Was it always like that and I just never noticed? Can't tell sometimes. It's game. It's game, man. Um, what? That's that should be the the subtitle of this game. Um, what? Wait, did they burn her on the cross? Oh my god, they did burn her in a cross. Um... Any... After last words? Are you alone? Okay, no, she's not alone. Was that Bobby's voice? She's here with me. Here with Bobby? I don't know if Bobby is a benevolent or malevolent uh, person. Just saying, man. others I mean after they died maybe they went to the tunnel underground but it's not a nice place because people are talking about it being dark and suffocating this game's fucked up it's fucked in the head it should be afraid game or ashamed game sure let's oh come on I want to I want to climb the rock eh whatever let's just follow the verb I like the game, it's actually showing some corpses now. It took a while though, didn't it? Whoa, whoa! Also, this car... This car is something else. Um, is that on fire? What the fuck is that?
Are we sure? 2 a.m. My, my, Myra Dean. Are we sure when Juliet fell down that hole to begin with that she didn't actually die? And this is what the afterlife is like. Load up on some protection. Let's see what's going on in here first. What is this? Where am I? Our rides are wind powered. So it is a theme park. The camp feels warm. Someone must have been here recently. Dead birds are taped behind you. Oh, okay. Oh, yep. Sure enough. Number seven. We turned the factory into a hospital. We had 13 rooms with 13 beds and 13 computers. Me and the siblings all slept on the second floor. I was in charge of taking care of the patients. Most of the time they were asleep. Sometimes I gave them pills or helped them to the toilet or taking a shower. They were always so confused. Sometimes I talk to them, but they would only stare at me, or stare at the ceiling, and then fall asleep again. Thirteen was mentioned previously, right? I don't remember. Thirteen of us. Thirteen people sick. Why were they sick? Was it the red mist? It would make sense. So before we get started on this, let's go ahead and make a cut for the YouTubes. And uh, yeah, it's it's usually my stopping point, but I think we're going to go on for at least one more hour. Also, I just need to get up and stretch. I'll be right back, guys.